Yo, what's going on ladies and gents? My name is Arbuckle, welcome back to another video. Today we are once again back on Fortnite Battle Royale. And I want to share with you guys some tips and tricks for surviving Tilted Towers. Uh, I know just about every game you get in, there's pretty much 35 to 100 people that come here every single game. Uh, and it can be extremely hectic, especially for the first couple minutes. Uh, so I wanted to really just share with you guys some tips, a, a small strategy that you can use that will hopefully help you guys to survive longer, uh, leave Tilted with more kills, and get yourself closer uh, to getting more Victory Royale. So the first thing you want to do when you come to Tilted is you want to land somewhere on the outside of Tilted. You want to land on the outskirts. A lot of people and I mean a ton of people love going to the main building which everyone calls Trump or the apartment buildings next door or even the construction building right next to Trump so many people love going to the middle because these buildings are huge there's a lot of loot inside of them and you know everybody wants to get to those chests everybody wants to get to those main buildings and take control however the only problem with that is that once you land in one of those main buildings first of all you have to deal with all the other people that are landing in the building that you're going to if you're going to Trump you're going to the apartment buildings you're going to the construction buildings they're right in the middle of tilted there's there's going to be a lot of people there and you're going to have to fight uh vertically you're going to have to kill people above you you're going to have to kill people below you it's going to get really intense and not only do you have that problem but you have to worry about people being in every single direction around you the one reason that you don't want to land in anywhere near the middle of tilted is because you can get shot from behind left right or in front or above really you can get shot from any direction making it very very likely uh, for you to get in gunfights and uh, and multiple gunfights one of the biggest issues is yeah you might be really good at the game you might be able to fight a lot of people let's say you land in trump for example let's say you land at the top of Trump, you go down and uh, and you start fighting a bunch of people. Um, yeah, you might get a lot of kills. You might, you know, work your way up, do well, get a lot of stuff. However, now you have to deal with players that are coming from every single direction. And when you're one of the first ones to get in those gunfights in the middle, people are going to be coming to you. So eventually, you're going to get taken out if you constantly have people coming towards you. Especially if you're playing a game of like squads and you have entire teams that are pushing you at once. So landing in the middle is really just a death trap. Um, the only way that I would see you surviving the middle is if your entire team lands with you on the main building or one of the smaller buildings in the middle and you really have to just hold it down because everybody's going to attack you from every direction the advantage to landing on the outside of tilted you can work your way around the perimeter and uh, and you don't have to worry about people coming up behind you you can kind of force those gunfights in front of you and you can pick and choose the gunfights that you want to get in when you're in the middle of the map you don't really get to pick and choose you're pretty much the gunfight every single time players are going to constantly come after you uh, right you may keep killing them but they're going to keep coming and eventually someone's going to get you because you're not going to have enough health um, but landing on the outside is really smart because there's a lot less people that land out there. You can kind of have those controlled gunfights. You can land with your team if you're playing duos or squads. You can have that controlled gunfight on the edge of the map. And then you can kind of just work your way around the perimeter and pick and choose who you want to go up against. You know, if someone is pushing uh, toward maybe the basketball court and, uh, and you're in Texas, maybe you can push over and get in that gunfight and not have to worry about someone coming up behind you because you're already on the perimeter of the map. So again, guys, you want to make sure that you're landing on the perimeter. Now, I know that's kind of a vague statement, you know, anywhere on the perimeter I'll share with you guys where we land and what helps us to win pretty much every time so generally I come here most of the time when I'm playing squads and where we like to land is Texas and L's now this is on the eastern side of Tilted Towers uh, if you guys don't know the callouts L's are the two buildings uh, that are uh, attached to each other that are the roofs are in the shape of an L uh, two L's and then Texas is right next to L's and the reason we call that Texas is because the roof looks like the state of Texas the shape of Texas on a map so these two areas are right next to each other generally when I come here with a squad we have two players land Texas two players land L's unless there are a ton of people generally you'll have one or two people land L's there's not a lot of people that like to go there as well as Texas um, so generally you can kind of get again and like I said earlier a controlled gunfight you know you only have to take out one or two guys you have your team there to help you if you're playing squads if you're playing solos it's really it's much easier when you're playing solos but I like to land L's Generally, my buddies like to land Texas. I like going L's. So if you guys look at L's, there's actually three different chest locations that can be here. Uh, there's only one on the L-shaped building that's closest to the east side of the map. The one that's closer to the middle, there's two. There's one downstairs, one upstairs. Um, so there's three chest areas and L's that can potentially spawn. They're not going to spawn there every single time. And then obviously you have the loot through uh, all three floors um, as well as the roof. Um, so L's is generally a pretty good spot for loot if you play your cards right and don't land somewhere where there's not going to be a chest. I generally like to land at the bottom uh, on the on the L building closer to uh, the middle of the map just because I can get the chest at the bottom, go through several of the floors and get up and start attacking the guy if he lands upstairs. And if no one lands up there and there's still a chest, I can go up there and get it. But L's is generally one of my favorite places to land. The reason we really like the east side of Tilted Towers is because there's a lot of buildings that are fairly close to each other, a lot of smaller buildings with a lot 
lot of walls that kind of give you protection and this is kind of a deader side of the map if you guys see outside of L's and outside of Texas there's that giant wall that kind of goes all the way around that little garage there and that provides a lot of protection from the middle of the map it keeps you protected from Trump the apartment buildings the construction buildings even that small building that's right there next to the garage and right next to Trump uh, so we use that wall to kind of move uh, to the further north on the side of the map up towards the basketball court so by the time you're done hitting L's the time you're done hitting Texas people are fighting all around tilted you pretty much have this entire side of the map controlled there's not a lot going on in this corner so you can loot up heal up get all your teammates together if you're playing solo just get all your weapons together get everything organized and generally we like to move uh, towards the northwest right so we'll go up towards the basketball court I like to go through the garage so that garage there no one ever lands there that's kind of a dead spot people go there after tilted has kind of died out um, so I like to go inside that garage generally there's a chest sometimes there's just a bunch of floor loot um, there's generally a few ammo crates in there um, and then once you move through that little mini garage is when you push to basketball court and you want to push to the basketball court There's a lot of stuff there generally people are gonna land there That's a pretty popular spot, but by the time you get over there There's gonna be no one left and if no one landed there you can loot it again There's a lot of loot right now. There's a Christmas tree when there's not a Christmas tree There's still loot on top on the actual court itself And then there's a few different chest locations as well as floor loot downstairs in the actual building but we like to land at Ells, Texas, move our way northwest, and once you get there, then you're in a pretty decent spot because then you're down to at least one or at the most one or two teams left in Tilted because everybody has fought it out, and uh, and then really it's easier to get into those gunfights because you don't have to worry about getting attacked from every single different direction. So once we move northwest and we kind of control that side of the map up by the basketball courts, we tend to move closer towards the middle, right, towards the apartment buildings there, and, uh, and we kind of just listen. You really just want to use your headset and find out where people are and who's getting in those gunfights because once you get a few minutes into tilted there's generally only one team that survives and most of the time they don't have an entire team if you're playing squads there's a good chance there's only to be like two or three people left because uh, generally at the beginning someone gets picked off that's just pretty much how it always works so again guys you want to land on the eastern side of the map move up towards the basketball courts uh, and then push into the apartment buildings and continue to play the perimeter be smart um, what I really like about Tilted is it's one of those spots where there's a ton of people that go there, but there's not a lot of people that just run into Tilted shortly after the game starts, right? Like, we're not really close to anything that's going to have a lot of people coming to it. You know, Shifty Shafts is probably the closest spot, and not a lot of people go there, and not a lot of people come up to Tilted from Shifty. So, generally, once you take over Tilted, you have a while before anyone else is going to show up. It's not like one of those spots that are going to get bombarded from other locations. So, once you take out Tilted, once you control it, it's much easier to uh, to get further into the game because you're not having people come at you constantly. But um, again, guys, please play the perimeter. I see so many people, and I'll be honest, I'm one of those guys. I loved, loved landing at the bottom of the main building. That's what I always did, and I always pushed my way upstairs and got in gunfights. But I would always get like four, five, six, sometimes seven kills and still lose and still die and tilted because I would kill so many people, but they would just keep coming. And, and I would just get bombarded by teams that landed on the outside of the map or on the outside of tilted. It didn't get in any gunfights had plenty of health and shield plenty of ammo and here I am you know run down beat down from fighting seven people no ammo no shield and, and you really it's pointless right like it's cool to have seven kills but it sucks if you're just gonna die at the beginning every time so make sure that you're playing the perimeter play it slow let everybody else get in those crazy gunfights don't get caught into to running into the middle and and trying to fight everybody at once I know it can be um, very fun to try to go after like 15 people that are all fighting at once but if your goal is to survive and you want to make it out of tilted and you want to win more games and uh, and overall do better um, playing it safe is going to be your best bet so play the outside of tilted work work your way around um, and you guys should be good to go I would not recommend landing at the clock tower I know a lot of people like landing on that side of the map there's a couple there's an apartment building over there um, there's another kind of little mini L shaped I don't even know I guess it's like a C shaped building next to the clock tower the reason I don't like that side of the map is because there's not any cover outside there's the three buildings there's the, the, the one building the clock tower in between and then the apartment building and then there's really just this giant open spot there's not a lot going on there's no walls there's no really anything to hide behind if people start shooting at you and you don't have any builds and you're screwed there's no way to go but if you land at L's or Texas you have the buildings you have the giant wall that goes all through the middle you have the garage you have the little gazebo um, there's just all kinds of stuff going on over there there's a bunch of giant vehicles in the streets that you can hide behind so make sure that you're playing it smart guys again 
land at L's, land at Texas, and, uh, and practice this strategy. I promise you guys it might be a little confusing at first, but once you learn this area of tilted and you continuously run this strat, you'll uh, you'll find yourself making it further into the games and doing better. But if you guys have any questions, please, please make sure to leave comments down below. Let me know what you have. Um, if you guys have any strategies that have worked for you, again, leave that down in the comment section down below. I'll be glad to hear what you do. Uh, but again, if you guys have any questions, leave comments. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see all you guys in the next video. Can we be friends?